On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by Man vs. Games. Man, not game! We picked the 2012 Oscars with the help of a Ouija board and get all quapped out of shape. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 115, recorded on February 21st, 2012. Man Hype Man. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash quit. And Henry. And Hey, Hen. You know, I bet you're wondering where you should go to further your education, right? How did you do that, Aaron? It's a snap! Here at the Central Institute of Technology... You alright? Yeah. Anyway, here at the Central Institute of Technology, everything is at your fingertips. It's a snap. It's close to public transport. Getting around is a breeze. Do you want a latte, mocha, or a macchiato? Yes, please. Mm. Was that a beer, cider, or maybe something stronger? They're up to date with the latest technology. Here you go, fellas. Oh, look, I don't think you should be giving beer to... to, to... I can do whatever I want, okay? I'm a fucking god! Just do the thing. <laughs> Here at Central, business students get a world-class education. You know how? Ah, uh, because it's a snap. No, no. It's bro, ba, snap. What a snap! <laughs> There's even a practical mind shot! Snap! <clears throat> Oh, so this is where they do the, the fashion and um, textiles. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic, Aaron. Oh, jeez. Aaron, I just don't want to go. Um, snap. Get out of the hospital. You can do it. Snap. <laughs> 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 It is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the webinets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by the inimitable co-host, part man, part machine, all cop. It's got to be Professor Justin Robert Young III. What is up, Mr. J.R. Weibels? Holy crap. That was a hilarious video, and this show <laughs> will do nothing but shatter how funny that was into a billion pieces with our own momentum. Yes, my friends, you will know us by our velocity as marked by our guest for Man vs. Game live streaming legend video game impresario. Man is here. Oh, dude, we got the man himself. What is going on, man? It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I am just amazed uh, at uh, just how awesome this is already. I thought I was done with uh, you know my education, but uh, that school has totally sold me on uh, their yeah, program. Yeah, I should so. I should point out that uh, that it, that's uh, that video. If you want to check it out, is called uh, Henry and Aaron. It's a snap, and it's a it's an actual advertisement for a, for a, a technical college, which is freaking phenomenal. And I think uh, oh good for a second, I thought we lost you there for a second, man. Uh, Justin, what are we up to today, man? We got all kinds of hijinks and shenanigans planned. Holy crap. Well, number one, um, we are going to get a big announcement from man himself. So all of mankind that is here to, uh, to, to watch their hero on our show, please, folks, this show might be so boring you want to cl- rip your eyes out like Oedipus, but don't <laughs> because there's going – well, actually, you can. You want to know what? Rip your eyes out because you can still hear what the announcement will be. Don't do the same to your ears, though. 
So if you're planning on ripping your eyes out, that's fine. <laughs> Slicing your nose, okay. Listen, fine. I'm not judging. Fine. But the ears, let's leave those alone because man's got an announcement. What are we going to do on this episode? I'm so glad you asked. Here's what's happening. The Oscars are this weekend. Right? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. What, what, what are All the right. Oscars? The Oscars were founded in 1894 by a man named Oscar Movie Maker. <laughs> Oscar Von Movie Making, if I, Oscar if I remember. Oscar Von Movie Making Maker. Yeah, that's right. Uh, right. Given yeah. name. All right. Uh, that was actually his stage name. His original name was uh, Ira Schlingelberg. Yeah, um, <laughs> to it. Damn it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, so anyway, so here's the deal. The Oscars are happening this weekend, and uh, we are going to pick them. Because that's what everybody's doing this week. Because everybody's like, hey, like... Jim and Judy in the morning. But, yeah, see, let's pick the Oscars. Ah, ah. Okay, but but I mean, we should that. explain. We're we're not making predictions. We we actually have the inside track. I mean, we no, no no no. We are we are going to make predictions, but we are also going to have a special guest. Now, man, of course you are a special guest, but uh, you're not as special as our other guests. In fact, we don't even know how special they are, folks. We're going to channel the undead with a Ouija board, and uh, and and we'll see. Who does better? I didn't, I didn't tell you. I actually brought Sunday. in an expert, Justin. I actually brought in an actual spiritual medium. Did you? Yeah. Uh, do you, you want to meet him? <laughs> well, hold on. Uh, let me also mention that later in this show, we're going to do what man does best. We're going to comment on video games. One of the most challenging and rewarding video games of all time will be played for your <laughs> amusement. And we're going to we're going to jazz on it. We're pulling out a clarinet. We're clearing out the spit valve, and we're going to jazz this mother effort <laughs> all goddamn night long. <laughs> Our clarinet episode. Hold on. Let me actually. I'm going to have to actually. There's no actual clarinets involved. I just want to let You know what? Know. And I, we should discuss this If you were waiting for clarinets, you should take out your ears. You should cut off both your ears. That's we, fine. We should, we should actually point out that uh, before we get started here, uh, did, you, did you make sure to figure out our sponsor stuff later on? We forgot to even talk about that. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, <laughs> at some point we should get to that, but hold on. First, I want to I want to introduce a very special guest. Um, hang on, he's he's a little camera shy. He doesn't really. Let me set this camera up here. There, there we go. All right, <laughs> we've got a uh, we've got a very special. This is a genuine spiritual medium. He looks like like Mark Twain's <laughs> illegitimate son. Uh, I I I don't know what you're talking about. Um, he's very mysterious. <laughs> Let the spirits talk, Brian. <laughs> He's very committed to his craft. He wants the it's Blue Clemens oh, Tilted. <laughs> got the tilted camera. It's quite the mustachio he's got going. Uh no. Well, I, with the problem is he's not the focus. It's, it's 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 his it's his spirit hands that are very talented, and that's why I, keep, I I'm trying to set this up. On here we go, here we go. All right, now we got we got we got an actual Ouija board because we're gonna have the undead. Decide for us. What a jaunty, what a jaunty background our spiritual medium has. There we yeah, go. No, seriously. All right. Well, he, well here's the deal. So, um, so uh, we're we're gonna go and uh, actually, if we can, uh, Brian, do you do you need me to to have the categories? Yeah. Ready? No, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, the, the 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 Oscars. You were calling them. I've never. I don't know how this works. Okay. Well, I'll bring them up. But but basically, here's here's how it's gonna go. First, what we need to do is determine. Who we're talking to. Okay, so, so we, we have to establish contact. Yeah, we have to set up contact, and then we will go from there. We'll right, do everybody. five categories, and then here's the fun thing, is everybody's watching the Oscars when it's just like boring, 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 rolling the dice. I don't care. Let me get drunk and beat my kids because right. I can't stand <laughs> this team. No, that, that, is, that is the popular pastime. That's what everybody likes to do, right? So instead of doing that, what you can do is watch the Oscars and think, who's doing better on your little scorecard? You can write this down as we go along. All right. Uh, either us or the undead. But first, we have to know who the undead is. Right. So let's. Uh, 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 I, I'm going to. Silton. Wait. I'm sorry. What? Let's let's get get your finger on there. Let's All right. Here we go. Out. We're both going to put our fingers on. It's moving. Wow. All right. Wait. It's landing on a. Uh, looks like a, a W. It landed on a W. Okay. Well, W. Why? Well, that that's not a, a very popular name. Wilford. Or, or, it's got to be Wilford Brimley. You think? Well, he's so not dead. Though, right? I can see he's dead inside. It. It's uh, it's it's definitely. Wait, 
Hold on. It's definitely it's definitely moving on its own. This is This is amazing. <gasps> what W S. It's W S. Wood stains? <laughs> wood it's wood stains. Will Smith. <laughs> it's, uh, maybe Will it's, is it Will Smith? It's Will Smith's great great grandfather. Oh, it says yes! Oh my god, it's Will Smith! It's Will Smith. <laughs> it can't be Will Smith. There's gotta be another. Who's. It's another guy named Will Smith who died. Wally really Smoth? Didn't. People is are it, saying Wally Smoth. Is it, is it Whitney Houston? Smithers? Yeah. <laughs> is it the Wilhelm Scream? Is it the spirit of the Wilhelm Scream? Is it William. Is it, I like that. Is, is it William Whitney Shatner? Shatner. Is it William Wondersnake? Let the spirits talk. Oh my god, right. Cheeto's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome to the show right now. It, it's our great pleasure to welcome the bard himself, William Shakespeare. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it! William Shakespeare is going to join! Of course, it makes perfect sense! If there's if there's one person who's going to tune in for the Hollywood Awards every year, it's going to be William Shakespeare. Oh my god. Exactly. The bar. So there we wow. go. Shakespeare is now on NSFW. He will be choosing uh, the the nominees against us. So let's actually go right into it. Let's take a look. Um, somebody somebody give me a list of of what the nominees are and I'll throw got, them up I on the, the screen. I got the nominees right here. Okay. All right. Uh, can, or, can you post it in the chat and I'll click it up so we can look at them as well? Sure. William no. Shakespeare. <laughs> you guys have the jackpot with the, with the spirit realm there. It, it's Shakespeare. pretty good. I mean, this is, I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I was hoping we would get like maybe a, maybe a Mark Twain, but you know, pff, suck it, beardy. Shakespeare. Muster That's mustache. Right. Oh my God. Stop talking, nothing, lady. Nothing Jesus Christ. Against, wait, what are you talking about? Some ladies talking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I'm sorry. Right. This this uh this this webcam is having a hard time. I'm trying to arrange it all right there. <laughs> all right, there we go. That's that's the nominees. The list of the nominees is right there. Let's let's select a category right now. We're gonna start. We're gonna start uh, a little easy, and we're gonna do best <laughs> foreign language film. All right, the hold on. Nominees are. Wait, are oh, dude, I have to. Okay, here we go. Foreign language film. We've got the foreign nominees. foreign language film. The nominees are from Belgium, Bullhead. From Canada, Monsieur Lazar. From Wait. Iran, a separation. From Israel, footnote. And from Poland, in darkness. All right, hold on. Let me let me actually see if I can find these. You said separation. There we go. Right here, foreign language film. So we're okay. Yeah. We got butthead, Mr. Bullhead. Lazar, Iran, a separation. Israel, footnote. Poland, in darkness. Yes. All right. <clears throat> now, here's what I'm going to go with, right? I'm going to say uh, it's going to be footnote from Israel for obvious reasons. What What does that mean? What, is, what does that mean for obvious reasons? That <laughs> Joseph Cedar is a great director. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> that's, that's very... And he's probably got a lot of friends. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. Are you intimating? He's a very nice person. He's just a gregarious guy. He's fun to be around. Joseph Cedar, director of Footnote. Ah, all right. Let's just say the fix is in. <laughs> okay, you got something in your eye, Justin. You're having a hard time. I'm just saying that that it, it's really a head and shoulders uh, above the competition. I, I'll tell you what. I think it's Belgian butthead. Bullhead, Belgian well, we bullhead. Need, well, we need to decide. Belgian so, bullhead. so man, what do you think it's going to be? Is it is it uh, is it what's it, is it Israel's uh, the footnote or Belgium's bullhead? Oh, are you asking me now? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, your yeah. What, well, way we in? Have to decide together. We're going to decide together, and then we're going to go up against. I would, have, uh, to, I would have to go with the the Iranian uh, separation because okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we need German to we need to decide collectively. All right, well, I'm willing to trade on this one for a pick to be named later. I'm going to join Man's team and say Iran separation. Iran is hot this year. Have you seen? Iran's all over the news. They're nuclear. They're glowing. They're they're blowing stuff up. I is would there, like to like, see if Iran wins, uh, a motorcycle will drive by and put a magnetic <laughs> bomb on the award. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so, so, so we agree it's Iran. It's Iran. All right, so we think it's Iran. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is, of course, the ghost of William Shakespeare. We have a spiritual medium here. <laughs> okay, hold uh, on. William, uh, who do you think will win? Give us a sign 
as to who will win. Hmm. Wait, what's K? K kill, kill. Well, that's racist. Kill, kill all of us. Uh, kill, kill, kook, kook, cut, cuss, KS. 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 That would be, the, in darkness, the Poland entry. That's uh, KS. KS. <laughs> no. KS5. KS, no. Wait, whoa, what's happening? Hold on. There appears to be a problem <laughs> with the Ouija board. <laughs> KSS. No, listen, why are you debating the will of Shakespeare? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I've never seen it run around like this before. This is well, this is <laughs> this is genuine now. supernatural powers happening. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so it's KS. It's Poland's In Darkness, directed by Andrzejka Holland. <laughs> Wait a minute. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, because there, there's a K and an S in there, so it's got to be Andrzejka. <laughs> so that's our pick. That's our pick officially from William Shakespeare himself. It's uh, in darkness. The Polish entry. So please, from- everybody, mark that down. Uh, uh, it is it is darkness for uh, Mr. Shakespeare, and for us, it is Iran's a separation. All right, now go. let's let's move on to uh, best. Hold on, actor. before before we do, I just feel like I, I felt bad. We never really advertised. You've you, you've got like a palmistry shop or something. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm sorry. It was very difficult to understand that. It's, it's not. That doesn't even. That's not even English. You're, you're saying I, uh, the spirits. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Fairly wants to focus on. When you got a connection to William Shakespeare, you don't want to. You don't want to jerk around with other stuff. All right. What, what are we doing next, Justin? All right. An actor in a leading role. Uh, we have Damien Bichir from A Better Life. George Clooney. In The Descendants, Jean Dujardin in The Artist, Gary Oldman in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, and Bra- Brad Pitt. <laughs> Did you say Brer Pitt? <laughs> Briar Rabbit in Money <laughs> That was pretty good. Pretty good. All uh, right. Now, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I did actually didn't see a whole lot of movies this year. In fact, the only one of these that I've actually seen is Brad Pitt in Moneyball. Um... But I'm, I'm say, tempted to go with Gary Oldman because I don't think Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Won. Gary Oldman wins uh, everything and yeah, at life. But also, the, the, yeah, the, I'm totally on the Gary Oldman train because uh, <laughs> he's due. He's you heard it first. Due. Man himself is on the Gary Oldman train. Just letting right. him have it. Jumping on there. Well, but then also, apparently, the big, but everybody he's projecting is kind of the big winner is that silent film, The Artist, with which uh, John. Desjardins, who I very much enjoyed his work when he played Wing for the Flyers. Mm. So? So, all right. So, what are so you, let's, what let's are you a communist? I'm fine with Oldman. I'm just pointing it out. Listen, we're all in this together. Whoa. Whoa. Take <laughs> this Did you see that? It looked like it was moving on its own. I know. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is some spiritual stuff happening. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on the camera on it. It's too much. Oh, wow. I'm scared to touch it now. It's moving all around on its own. All right, I guess Whoa. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's going for the moon. William Shakespeare. All right, William Shakespeare. Who do you think? Is it Damien, George, John, Gary, or Brad? <laughs> it's saying the chat room saying it just got real. Q. Tell it. No, it's P. P. He said P. P. That'd be Pitt. Is it Pitt? Mm, could be Pitt. Hold on. Bye. <laughs> He's somebody who's bi. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, so that eliminates nobody. A bisexual P. G. PG. It's a PG actor. Somebody uh, into PG films. Um, I don't Gary know if any of them were PG. M. P. M would maybe be for Moneyball. PG. Ma- ma- yeah, it could be. It could be Pit. Pit gigging Moneyball. Sure. Pit Pit B? <laughs> oh, it's an M B. Come on. It's yeah. Moneyball. P G. It's P by G M B. Oh, GM! I, 
Brad Pitt pays Billy Bean, the general manager for the Oakland A's. William Shakespeare has completely <laughs> picked Brad Pitt from beyond the grave. No, I think I, I think they got it. I think I got it. It's definitely going to be Brad Pitt, his first his first uh, Oscar for a leading role. That's amazing. William Shakespeare. Look at that. William Shakespeare. Who knew? Somebody contact Brad Pitt and be like, did you know that William Shakespeare is a big fan of your work? <laughs> he you, said so on the NSFW show. <laughs> Uh, all right, so there we go. Okay. Now let's move on to actress in a leading role. We have Glenn Close and Albert Nobbs. Yeah. Uh, Viola Davis in the in the Help. Rooney Mara in the Girl with the one scene with the anal rape. Wait, um, <laughs> uh, Meryl Streep in the Iron Lady and Michelle Williams in My Week with Marilyn Manson. No, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn, My Week with I Marilyn. I think I know what the movie is. Boy, there, these are all a bunch of people playing other people. Because, like, Marilyn is a person. <laughs> it's like they're acting. I know, but they're acting like people who exist. Well, and the girl uh, with the dragon tattoo. She's a really real exist, girl. Unless you count the woman who played no, her in the other she's, movie. She's a real girl who uh, comes into your room at night when you try to forcibly anal rape people, and she videotapes you, and then she threatens you later. That was what my father always told me before we went to bed. Well, and like Viola Davis, there's not really like a black stereotype like in The Help, right? Yes. No, she also – she comes and admonishes you when you racially stereotype. That's another story my dad told me. What about Albert Nobbs? <laughs> Albert uh, Nobbs. Glenn Close playing the creepiest person on the planet. <laughs> yes. Every time a husband sneaks into his wife's boudoir and dresses up as a lady, she shows up. To look at him and just shake her head. Very disappointed in him. And just go, just, hey, what are you just, doing, mister? You're like, it didn't end I'm well for me knobs. either. This is not a good idea. Shame on you. <laughs> I liked it better when it was Brian Knobs and it was a story about the 90s tag team, the Nasty Boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mister. Hey, all right, mister. so it's it's got to be, look, all right, here's what you say. You say, crazy um maybe crazy maybe crazy i mean like crazy to pick or or they're playing crazy characters yes all of the above i'm gonna say well, it's gotta I be i would say listen here's who votes for the oscars liberals what are liberals <laughs> what the hell is the, is the liberal media is gonna decide Black people and making fun of conservatives so like to me it's a two-horse race between viola davis and meryl streep um, wait, wait, um, yeah, right. Yeah, it could be. Viola Davis is definitely black. I looked it up. Also, <laughs> hold on, Street. hold on. I don't know. Some people apparently during our pick, they noticed something a little bit strange on this. This is what we see now, but look, <laughs> look what they saw just moments ago. It's, uh, if you look closely, <laughs> in oh hands. <laughs> You can that, see that, that, is a, that is a genuine apparition. <laughs> you can see oh, the William ghost. Shakespeare picking the Oscars. I, I got to admit, I was a little skeptical when we first started this, and I am a true believer now. This is <laughs> yeah, no, they're. they're uh... <laughs> well, you want to know what? Here's here's what we have to do. We have to just keep going through right now. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say. Um, I'm going to say Meryl Streep. I think Meryl Streep gets it. What do you guys Yeah, think? I think there's a reason they call it a winning streep when you do really well in sports ball. So I'm going to say <laughs> go with this, uh, the winning streep. I'm with you guys on the streep. She's, uh, she's a winner. All right. But I think she's an iron lady now, but she'll be gold come Sunday. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go to our correspondence across the, uh, the, the great divide. William Shakespeare. Who is the Where's winner? Where's our medium's hands, by the way? Why is he here besides <laughs> his creepily look on with his mustache? He's a, yeah, what's, what's, what's going on? Is there... Is... <laughs> Wait, I couldn't I could really hear guy. that. I could <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, I want to let our spiritual medium know that I really enjoyed that book he wrote with Huckleberry Finn and exceptional friend Jim. Oh, thank you. <laughs> let the I enjoyed him as the uh, villain the in every single melodrama. Okay, all right, here we go. What? The number three? Number two. It's moving all around. It's crazy. It's Bill is freaking uh, out. Oh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare is really, he's fired up about this one. It's all over the place. He doesn't know what's going on. Wait, did he stop on something? Wait, he stopped on M. Meryl, 
Oh. Or Michelle. It could be Meryl Michelle Street. Son. No. It's down to Marilyn Manson or or uh, the Iron Lady, uh, yeah. Margaret Thatchman. X? MX? T? Is she taking it to the max? <laughs> Maximum? Yeah, so no, I, it's always close to a Y, though. It's close to a Y and a W. That would be Williams and, and Marilyn. Uh, maybe it's... Wait, I'm not even on Is that a V? That, that's a V. Is that Mike yeah. Viola Davis? He, he wants his MTV. Is that the same letter twice? G. G. Um. Jesus, Shakespeare's drunk. (laughs) (laughs) Don't call him the the bard for nothing. (laughs) Your MX record? Is MG Sigler getting nominated? (laughs) I think it wants us to edit our MX record and take it to the max. P? P, So we've had an M, a V, and a P. MVP, most valuable player? Who's valuable? Could yeah. be another word. T. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Shakespeare. Most valuable part-time employee. Um, <laughs> there's a W. A, a U. Is that U V or U W? That's that's a that looks like a U. All right, guys, v. in the chat room, if you can help us v. out, we're trying to define <laughs> the will of the spirits. William Shakespeare is here with us. I can't read. Calligraphy. For those of you guys just joining us, we have to do the retweets. Uh, for for those of you just joining us, William Shakespeare from the grave picking Oscar picks. It's got to be X. Why does it keep going back to X? It looks like W and X. Four W X. Maybe there's a clue here in these names. Three X's. Well, well, Albert Nobbs is about Victorian uh, Britain and a guy or a, a chick who pretends to be a guy. Viola Davis is about how white people ended slavery. Yeah. Um, Wait, what? Or, or sorry, civil rights. Uh, how <laughs> that adorable uh, Emma Stone solved civil rights. And then Rooney Mara is about a renegade Swede lady who, who has uh, uh, revenge on her mind. Meryl Streep's about Margaret Thatcher. And Michelle Williams is about how uh, Marilyn Monroe was a delight. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. We saw X a lot. I think we saw X three times. And if it's triple X, if it's triple X, there's only one title that makes sense. Well, no, there was definitely anal rape in, in, in The Girl with the Dragon <laughs> Tattoo. <laughs> which, which other one were you thinking? Marilyn Monroe. X? She wasn't triple X. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's got it. She was one X. <laughs> Like how the anal rape just completely ruined the whole theory. You're like, wait, no, there was anal rape. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, I, I think it's gotta be. <laughs> I don't hear. Let, let's uh, maybe Shakespeare just had the yips. Let's go back to the board real quick. Right. One letter. All right, here like, we go. Let's let's see. Let's All see right, what here, we I'm gonna put it right here. Medium, can you get your effing hands on the goddamn board so we can? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the decider right here. All right, wait, we're watching. Nothing is definitely Shakespeare. happening. Shakespeare. Sha- Whoa! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! You definitely some of the goes to Shakespeare. It's moving Whoa. all over the place. All right, that'd be Rooney. Rooney Mara. Is it Shakespeare? Is it Rooney Mara? Oh! oh it went out to yes. <laughs> it went straight to yes. Oh wow! It means it's definitely the triple X scene. Sorry, Iron Lady. It's got to be Rooney Mara with the girl with the dragon tattoo. So, so Shakespeare's saying take the girl over the lady for uh, for Oscar Gold this Sunday. Mark that down. We haven't agreed yet on on anything. Exactly. Uh, Shakespeare yeah. likes the <laughs> yes. oh, oh, I guess yeah. there was an R in there. There was a, there was a bunch of X's and an R. So I think I think it's there. Wow. Holy cow. That's amazing. Uh, all, all right. right. Do, we'll do we'll do one more. We got more one more. Here. We got one more. All right. What's we got one more? And this is the big one. Uh, oh, best, best picture, picture, folks. Best Ooh. picture, yeah, no, this is the big one. So we of course, have silent film, the artist. Um, Man, there's a billion of these. We got the artist. Yeah, we have we the, have the movie that George Clooney does every single year called The Descendants. This year, uh, <laughs> extremely loud and incredibly about 9/11. Yep. Okay, got it. Uh, the the help white people solve civil rights. Right. Uh, Hugo, look at me, I'm Martin Scorsese. I can make a kids movie. Right. Midnight in Paris, which is the movie that Woody Allen makes every year. Um, Moneyball about Brad Pitt saving baseball or something. Flexing. He's definitely flexing. 
Yeah, uh, The Tree of Life, where Brad Pitt, I don't know, is in a movie about dinosaurs with Sean Penn, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and then War Horse, which is pretty much about a horse. Oh, dude, well, look, we have Man from Man vs. Game here, who legendarily owned a horse for all of 22 seconds before running it off of a cliff. So, I mean, my heart's, I'm already, I'm all about War Horse. I mean, that's, that's that was meant to be. If there's gonna Absolutely. Be, I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be a horse, free horse, right? The mighty steed, yes. Free horse, uh, Spielberg. I mean, you can't lose. That's I think. I mean, Justin, know, what do you say? See, I think it's going to be the artist, though. I think it's that silent film. People are sick of words in their movies. They're like, I need, I need, I need to go back to this this thing because I stabbed my ears out when I was watching a podcast one time. So I need silent <laughs> films. So you think it's wait? Is the whole movie really silent? It's a silent movie. Oh, it's that's a, a novelty joke. Movie. It's you know what? That's an affront. <laughs> There's too many people. Listen, the 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 sound guild will never stand for it. The Saudis will re- resonate if we see a renaissance of non-talking picture shows. That's it. Think of how many jobs are going to be. Like, the unions won't stand for this. But, uh, the but horse I'll tell you union. what. Never, never has there been a more bumper year for piano players. Well, <laughs> but the, the the Saudis outnumber are uh, outnumbered. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. If you think that uh, Warhorse doesn't have a chance, then how do you explain this promotional poster that was definitely <laughs> was definitely put in Variety magazine? As look at there. That's of course the sequel, which is uh, just a free horse. Featuring man. Free horse. Yeah. That um, is uh, uh, free. I think that's yeah. That's gonna be up for an Oscar uh, next year. That's uh, an upcoming film. This is uh, the beginning of an Oscar franchise, and it's gonna it's gonna be War Oscar. Horse. It's gonna be Free Horse, and it's gonna be Get Off My Horse. See, I think but, but War Horse, Horse and Hugo, I think split split the jam. I think that we need to we need to maybe pick something else. Like I think maybe either ex- uh, extremely about nine eleven and incredibly starring Tom Hanks for ten minutes, or um, the Descendant movie from other movies starring George Clooney. Or the Help Me Solve Racism White People movie. <laughs> I uh, uh, look. I mean, you can you can make all the noise you want. I I'm firmly on. on You're right horse. on the horse. You I'm, can't. I'm right. I can't budge you off this horse. Listen. Once once you get to a certain intensity on that horse. Nothing can pull you off of it until you're done riding that horse. That horse has moxie. All right, I'm in. I'm in on the horse. War horse, <laughs> FTW. You're all the way in on the. You're all the way in the horse. Um, I'm in the horse. I don't care what the consequences. But the question is, is William Shakespeare? Oh, hold on. Let me get. Let me get it. All right, here we go. So this is it. Shakespeare, best picture. Is it the artist, the Descendants, extremely loud, the Help, Hugo, Midnight in Paris? Oh my gosh, it's going all crazy. Got a fig leaf. We've never seen. We wait. There's Twilight. It's a little bit. It's going all crazy here. Okay, that's I'm like the middle finger technique. It's it's lingering on a U. I don't know if that's really decided or not, though. All right, Maybe he's just wait, saying wait, you wait, are wait, an wait, idiot. Wait, hold on. There, there we go. All right, let me hold <laughs> it. Here. All right, here we go. What's going on? Oh, the moon. Oh, oh. It keeps going back to the moon. Midnight. Midnight in Paris. <laughs> Is it midnight in Paris? Midnight in Paris. Oh my God, William Shakespeare! Did you oh, even see on. that Wait movie? No. <laughs> oh no! No, it's, no, it's definitely not. Paris. It's definitely not. <laughs> He's definitely. What, what are you doing over there? You get your hands on the goddamn board. Yeah, hold on. This is kind of messed up. This is. What? What is? <laughs> what, what is going on? What is he doing? Hold on, that looks like he's got some mojo. I don't think he's a real no, spiritual he's medium. His text messages. <laughs> okay, all right. I guess he was just. Man, that was really yeah. weird. I don't know. It looked like he was doing something else. All right. <laughs> well, now he's just moving the planchette. Hopefully, it'll. Shakespeare, come back. What is going on? Bill, don't leave. <laughs> M? Is it midnight in Paris again? <laughs> what? No, okay. No. Right. It's definitely not Midnight in Paris. <laughs> is it Tree of Life, maybe? I don't know. F? So tr- M- Moneyball? Was it Moneyballs? Fig leaves. The Tree of Life? Fig leaves. Maybe it's the Tree of Life. But no, it there's keeps a, go- a leaf. A tree. Yeah, maybe you would use a fig leaf to cover up your Moneyballs? <laughs> M- M-O? Oh, my God. Would you, need, would you need a really big fig leaf if you were hung like a war horse? <laughs> Maybe there that's what he's referencing. I think war it horse. might... Free horse? No! No, don't leave me! 
William Shakespeare, don't leave me! Don't leave your own life! Two. Two. Buy two. Two. Buy. Buy two. Buy two. Two Q? Two money balls. Is this about <laughs> two, two live crew? <laughs> two live crew? Yes. yes, it is about two life crew. As I suspected. It's too legit to quit. Or... Is it de is it demolition Damn. man? Yo. Again, again he's back to he's back to that, that, that same He's back to that to that moonbeam. I don't understand Ooh. what's going on. Shakespeare really needs to stop farting around. <laughs> <laughs> You would God think, damn it, for, being, for being the bard, Wait. you would think you would know something about pacing and when the bit's getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shakespeare, I'm done <laughs> screwing with you. Yes, it's G. You do know when the bit's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> what was... <laughs> maybe... Maybe... Grant King on Hugo? Maybe Shakespeare could just hurry up and possess the body of, of the medium. <laughs> <laughs> and just tell right, us what the goddamn go, movie one is. More, one, one more letter from Shakespeare. This is going to tell the entire right, thing. We're going to be done with this. Shakespeare, give us one letter. Shakespeare, give us one letter. your will. I love how we're getting pissed off at Shakespeare. Like, Shakespeare, <laughs> yeah, come, on, like, come on, jerk. Dick this guy is. T. It's like, yeah, yeah. The descendants plays, are the artists. On. So there's got to be the or Tree of Life. The, Tree of Life. Is it Tree of Life? Oh, it's going to be Tree of Life! Oh! <laughs> Thank God! Now get the hell out of here, William Shakespeare. <laughs> Seriously, what the F? Thank God, God ass. Dead. How annoying. He's like, oh, look at me. I wrote all the plays you love. Let me let me add a little drama into your comedy podcast by God, taking forever. how annoying he would be if you were actually here picking the Oscars. Oh, like, my God. So, right? Shakespeare, who do you think is going to win Best Picture? Well, I think it has a leaf in it. <laughs> or a moon. Maybe, maybe, maybe the one with the X. Maybe the T. Do you tea. remember the one with the X? I'm William Shakespeare. Somebody get me a T. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he kept going to T for Tony. Edit this out. Was he just, just like, just move this forward? <laughs> well, there we go. All right. So, so somebody, uh, hopefully, maybe uh, Pete L. Hendy can put this up on uh, BBpedia. Just Google BBpedia and also on NSFWShow.com. Uh, you'll be able to look and follow along with uh, NSFW versus the Undead. Uh, our our Twitter. Uh, See sorry, wins. Our, our guide for the show. So there we go. All right, look, uh, who's paying for this show, Justin? I, uh, Jammer B, who's paying for this show, <laughs> if anyone? <laughs> Let's go to Twit HQ. And actually, I'm going to go back. I'll open this up. And in the meantime, for those of you guys wondering. Netflix. Uh, yes. Oh, my God. How great is Netflix? Man, I'll it's tell fantastic. you what. So here's the deal about Netflix, right? Um, let's say you don't like sitting, looking at your wall all night. Like, you're like. Hey, this wall used to be interesting when there was like a bug crawling on it, but now it's really boring. Right. See, that's it. Brian's looking at his wall and he's like, what the hell? What am I going to do? Stare at a wall all night? What am I? You know, no, you're not. Stop it. You're an idiot. You're a moron. That wall's not going to change. This isn't Doctor Who. Okay? You got to go get on Netflix, folks. Here's the deal. They got all sorts of... of uh, DVDs and instant streaming. You know, if you like DVDs, it's fine. Okay, listen, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. You don't tell me how to live mine. Okay, fine. We can just get out of each other's faces. But what what you need is instant streaming. It's got the best things ever. You know, it's the new social coup. If people are talking about it, it's because it's on Netflix. Do you want to be that stinky, lonely guy in the back of the bus while everybody else is making hilarious jokes about the Dowager on Downton Abbey or saying put a bird on it from Portlandia? No, you don't want to be that person. You want to be the one to say, I would kick O'Brien in the face because you've seen Downton Abbey. You know that, son. You have that knowledge in you. And you can use it to make friends and not live your rest of your life as a destitute bum on the street screaming for change on the, on the, at the bottom of an overpass. You're going to know jokes. You're going to know references. Your life is going to be enriched. All you got to do is go to net. Netflix.com slash twit. If you, don't, if you already have Netflix, do me a favor. Go on Twitter right now and at Reply Netflix and say, NSFW show loves you. I'm a happy subscriber. I just did a backflip. <laughs> if you do that right now, you will be helping the show immensely and you will let everybody else in your stream 
know that you are a happy subscriber and they should be too. Netflix.com slash twit is where you need to go. And if you don't go there, then literally you do deserve to die. You deserve to be murdered. <laughs> can, can I add a, a true customer testimonial here? Does it involve murder? Um, no. Can, can you just say whatever you're going to say and then just throw murder in there? I honestly, I signed up for Netflix like a couple days ago because uh, I was catching up. I was watching uh, Arrested Development, uh, the first season, on another website that starts with an H, ends with an Ulu. And then I got to the second season and uh, they want you to, you know, you know, pay for some stuff. And I said, no, screw that. I'm going to the site that has it all, uh, Netflix.com. And I did. And I signed up for Netflix.com. And, uh, and I'm happily watching Arrested Development. The second and season. I'm sure that show murdered your expectations with hilarity. It did. Uh, and then I also murdered um, my ex-girlfriend. Yes! Yeah! Hey, did you, uh, uh, serious, serious talk. Uh, do you know that they're actually bringing Good back answer. Arrested Good Development answer. and it's going to be a Netflix exclusive leading up to the movie? Did you hear this? I haven't heard that, but that makes me so much happier now that I signed up for Netflix. Yeah, no. I made the right choice. Yes. Also, they got they got originals, uh, too. Like, uh, I'm watching Lilyhammer right now, which is not on any American station at all. It's about a mobster that, you know, disappears to a tiny town in Norway and, uh, you know, hijinks and sue. He murders hobos. Uh, <laughs> listen, if you don't, I mean, come on. Netflix. It's the way to go. Netflix.com slash tweet. And by the way, I want to see people. I'm not even kidding. There's a lot of people that have listened to, to us do this kind of read. A lot of people listen to Twit and a lot of other podcasts that have Netflix sponsorship. We all know you have it. I have it. You have it. Everybody in this podcast has it, and 90% of the audience does. So we're not asking you to buy it again, okay? But if you could, uh, yeah, it'd be nice. You know, subscribe again. <laughs> sure, fine. It'd be great for us. But we're not expecting you to. So <laughs> at reply Netflix on Twitter and say, I'm a happy subscriber. I just did a backflip. If you don't include the word backflip, then I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, you you should just be dead to him. Uh, all right, Justin. Look, we've we've teased this long enough. We've got man of man versus game here. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity to play a game and see which of us is the superior gamer. Because you and I are always going back and forth. We're always touting. who's the better gamer. Who's we're the always better gamer? I'm like, yo, bro, I'm totally the best gamer around, and <laughs> yes. you're all like, what? Exactly. Well, then I'm like, uh, I, uh, Justin, I don't, I don't think you play very many games at all. No, it's... and I'm like, listen here, mother effer, I'll stick my G in your A. That's what I do when I play G's. <laughs> I was like, what, what does that even mean? That's like, you, you don't, you don't play. Get you write for a magic website and you don't know any magic, and you you write for a gaming show, you don't play any games. This is your disgrace to gaming, is what you are. You don't. <laughs> no. That's a fib I tell to keep my enemies off balance. <laughs> I'm a master of the shadow arts. <laughs> the, the, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah? Uh, I'm it, like Batman. Na name a game that you enjoy playing, Justin. I play games. <laughs> <laughs> Straight fibbing. See, I think, I, think, I think this is the fib, right? I don't think you play very many games. I play every game. <laughs> name a game. Uh, uh, play it. <laughs> Defender. I've done it. I Jubert. played all of it. I defended the hell out of it. <laughs> I defended that game from assailants like you. <laughs> Duck assailants hunt. like you have been like, hey, I think Defender sucks. And I'm like, no, I think it's great. Uh, Defense what, plus me. What about Mule, the old classic on the Commodore 64? I loved it. Yeah? I, 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 <laughs> I, I proposed to a girl with a Mule mod. <laughs> What about uh, what about uh, turned out to be a drug carrier, which is <laughs> ironic considering everything. Mass Effect, you play the Mass Effect. I I played uh, Mass Effect while listening to Widespread Panic on my Discman. <laughs> your, your your Sony Discman. I uh, did. Yeah, that's a true fact. All right, go ahead. Listen, dude, I can do this all night. I know. I'm, I'm, the game, I'm, I'm the man when it comes to games. Well, I'm the game man. You know what? Maybe. That's why I write game on. <laughs> you are a game man. You are the game, game man. man. So here's the deal. The uh, uh, but before we get into this, we're going we're gonna to do a little commentary at like man versus game is has become famous for. But I think we've teased this long enough, man. You got a, you got an announcement that you want to make here on this show. What do you say we get to that while we set up uh, this this other thing we're doing? Absolutely. Uh, just really quick, uh, I want to thank you guys for having me here uh, again and everything. And uh, 
This is something I've kind of teased a little bit on my cast over at uh, Man vs. Game, uh, twitch.tv slash Man vs. Game is where you can watch it. A little shameless plug there. Uh, but uh, coming up, I'm going to be going to uh, GDC in San Francisco. Uh, Woo! Uh, yeah! In March, the Game Developers Conference, yes. And uh, it's one of my first times going to like a big conference thing like this, and I'm going to be meeting a ton of amazing people. Uh, just I, I, So many, I, I can't even name them right now. But I already have like a working gig, I think, down there. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, John Carnage, uh, who is now, he works for Twitch.tv, uh, um, he hooked me up, and um, what's going to be happening on March 5th, starting at, uh, I believe at like around 9 in the morning, um, March 5th and 6th, leading up to the Mass Effect 3 release, uh, GameSpot is going to be doing uh, a Mass Effect 24-hour marathon. And they have asked me to take part in that. You're talking about for, for Mass Effect 3, for the new Mass Effect. Exactly, Mass Effect 3. Uh, and so what, they're, what we're going to do is, uh, I think the way they've got it planned out is uh, we're going to be finishing up, uh, we're going to start toward the end of Mass Effect 1, uh, and then we're going to play through Mass Effect 2. And what, what they're planning on doing what, uh, is we're going to have multiple Shepherds running so that we'll see, you know, like a good Shepherd, the bad Shepherd, you know, the whatever, the shepherd that just wants to get jerk, stuff done. Jerk shepherd. And, yeah. Exactly. The, jan jerk the janitor shepherd. shepherd. Lazy shepherd. The shy, uh, untalkative shepherd. That's right. Uh, the sheep shepherd. shepherd. The shepherd that looks like nerdy, but then she whips off her glasses and she's totally hot. Shepherd. Hot shepherd. That's the right. shepherd that uh, ran uh, the chess club. Shepherd fairy. That's a shepherd. good one. You go around and say obey a lot. The shepherd, shepherd who actually herds uh, sheep. <laughs> herds uh, sheep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, but yes, yeah, so multiple shepherds running, and we're going to play through Mass Effect One, Two, and then of course when Mass Effect Three drops uh, at midnight, we're going to switch over to that, and uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be casted. Uh, it's going to be broadcast both at GameSpot.com and uh, their Twitch TV channel, which I believe is Twitch.tv slash GameSpot, and uh, it's going to be crazy. Uh, it's it's just nuts to think that I'm going down and, and uh, it's it's going to be a, a huge a great experience for me. I can already tell. Dude, but, uh, uh, this is epic because you already have like uh, and and for those people who don't know, uh, you every single night you play video game and a thousand people tune every in live damn. every I... single day. Yeah, no, seriously, it's <laughs> On amazing. The telephone? It's. <laughs> It's amazing. And so, like, this is, there are so many people who feel a connection to you, and this is going to be, like, the place. I mean, they're going to get to meet you in person. Now, are you going, like, with nonstop without sleep, or how many hours in a row are you rocking? Well, it's going to be, uh, you know, they talk about, like, hosting and co hosting. There's going to be multiple people there, because uh, I, I think uh, I've done 24 hour uh, marathons in the past. I haven't done any for a good while, but uh, it's. I I am totally I'm certain that I can get through 24 hours playing Dude, uh, you know I, such listen, awesome games like Mass Effect. He's man versus game. They they don't call it meh effect. They call it mass <laughs> effect. He's gonna come with a massive amount of force. Dude, I game. guarantee you. After this day, they're gonna call it man's effect. Yeah, on the world See, with his mansness. Man, he's gonna affect gonna you emotionally it. and physically. If you watch <laughs> this on Twitch.tv slash Gamespot. Uh, what is it? March fourth, uh, March fifth and sixth is when it's March fifth and sixth. You you are going to be changed. You are going to go in a, a, a lump of coal and you're going to come out a diamond. He is going <laughs> to put you out of his body as a diamond. He's, you're going to be right. processed. Well, why am I frozen in this picture for some reason? <laughs> like because this. you are you you can't handle it right now. You're stunned. I'm, you're listen, I'm telling everybody. About it. Go back to <laughs> right. Brian. That's you before. You watch Man vs. Game, March 5th and 6th, on the Mass Effect, and that's you after. Look at that. You're ready to take on life. That guy just got cheated on by his girlfriend. Let's go over to March 6th after it's done. Oh, my God. Everything's so much better now. Double teams the guy who cheated on your girlfriend for fun. It doesn't make you gay. <laughs> All right. That's what's going on here. March 5th and 6th. 
You're going to be all up in San Francisco, yeah, this, this, getting getting your bay on. You're you're taking a covered wagon, I'm sure, from Montana. You're not going to take no guff. You're a mountain man. You can you have your pistol, uh, and you're going to play the crap out of Mass Effect. Every single Mass Effect. Game I'll tell you what. Played, do you amazing. need man? Do you need somebody to like hype you up? Do you need a man hype man to go around and just say <laughs> what y'all know about man? That's about it. I could use someone like Justin. Absolutely. Like, it's just, man, oh, hype I, man. Hold on. He's going to give it down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll wait for this. Um, so anyway, we're going to play. Uh, tell us about Quop, the game we're about to play. Is it co-op? I, you know, I wish it was like co-op over network because it would have been brilliant to uh, to play along. But uh, you, they did just come out with a two-player uh, version of Co-op. I'm sorry, man. I got to interrupt you. Joining us now. What your mother effers know about Co-op? Man, I tell you what, <laughs> this is man vs. game we talking about. You can't believe, you can't begin to imagine the kind of stuff he's going to be doing March 5th and 6th, playing Mass Effect. This is going to wreck your brain. Your brain's going <laughs> to split in half and then disintegrate into a million pieces and get blown off into the ocean. This is man vs. game. You can't contain <laughs> man vs. game. You can't even begin to put him in a, a box, put him in a corner like baby. Hell no. This is a man who is going to do what he wants. He takes games and he says, Game? I thought I told you. <laughs> I'm man. I run this. I hit start, select, A, B, up, down, left, right. I pull the trigger on your ass, son. Games ain't got nothing on me. Man. Man. Hype man. Woo. <laughs> yes. Oh, All right, look. Up. This game looks very simple. I played track and field. I know how this works. You just, you just click a bunch of buttons and you run, right? Absolutely. I think it's quap. And then as you can see there, you control the thighs and the calves, and that's it. And uh, <laughs> it's all in the timing. And uh, it's going to be – it It takes some getting used to. you got to get to have some quap skill. Oh, the false start. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. So what? Look, oh, <laughs> Justin, stop. Stop, stop playing. Stop playing. We got it. We got to set up stakes here before we play. All right. All what? Right. What? What are we playing for? And and the, the, we have to have a time limit. Man can keep the time limit. Um, I'm sure he has an imaginary stopwatch that he'll shout time whenever it gets boring. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, what are we playing? Obviously. I don't think either of us are going to make it a hundred yards on this this damn game. I think whoever makes it further. Okay, and and uh, uh, by the time man calls it, and uh, what's the stakes? What are the stakes? Uh, how about if I beat you, you welch yet again on an opportunity for me to change your avatar? Okay, like you it was, Twitter was times. down. Twitter wouldn't let me change the avatar. All right, uh, yeah, avatar bet. Twitter was down. All right, uh, loser. Loser has man pick an avatar on Twitter. No, who wouldn't? I have a problem with that? No, nope, absolutely. I'm game. down with it. Son, I love it. there ain't no pain to man versus game. He says, quit his stand. I don't give a rat says. You see what I do to games? You can't imagine what I do to social networks. Woo! Man versus game. Here, That's be, what I'm talking about. This will be my avatar if, uh, <laughs> if, I, uh, if I go down. Me is is that Albert oh Nobbs? God, dude, replacing faces yeah. with Albert Nobbs should be a new meme. It really should be a new oh, meme. The Nobbs meme. Oh, I think it's starting right now. Yeah, <laughs> I will change my avatar to that. Um, okay, to push the meme out in in solidarity. Well, there all, you go. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me get the let me get the game loaded up, and then um. Oh my god. I love that I have Leo like dancing on the ceiling behind me now. Like, oh, is, that, uh, is that what just happened behind? Oh, you do. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I've got Leo the Wait, is Jammer B? Is, Jammer is B is going green, green screen screens? nutty in the background, and I don't. Uh, I wonder <laughs> no. how. I wonder how. I know, it's so weird because I. I just. I'm seeing Brian's desktop, but like I have no idea how it's happening. I'm. I'm seeing. You. You. Oh, oh. So you're seeing it up there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, look. Regardless, let's let's let us play. Quack. All right, so here we okay, go. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and they're off. Brilliant start. <laughs> okay. My commentary is going to be a little bit late because I'm watching on the you know the, the live stream. Oh, uh, now, so who's talking? Oh, you should you now? should be receiving some video from me on Skype. You should be able to watch on Skype. Oh, oh wait. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> so the idea of the game is that you got it. You got it. You got to <laughs> Oh, that's a broken bone. 
<laughs> Ryan, are you on top? Yeah, I'm on top. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, he's got oh, oh! One leg went all the way around. Ouch. So he... <laughs> have we got some distance? So how far are we looking at? Oh, 1.65. So right now, Brian is in the lead. Yes! 1.65 meters! <laughs> right? 1.59... <laughs> Now, I, I look, they look like Brian is starting to get it. You, you certainly can't just spam those keys. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. You guys are going like negative meters. Uh, <laughs> ooh, Brian might have a good thing going here. He's got the, the one knee. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes! Amazing. It is because I am so good. Best two out of three? <laughs> All right, best two out of three. Go, rematch. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that it was timed. Wow. Apparently it is. So Face apparently... Plant. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I did a handstand. So, somebody had the Chariots of Fire going there. If you build well, it up starts speed, to, once once it'll... you start going, it'll start playing Chariots of Fire, right? Or a very Chariots of Fire-like song, yes. Uh <laughs> Gives you with the same sense of success. <laughs> of wonder. Glory. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 like, oh, that was that right there. That was awesome. Oh. Yeah, I go. can't stop. I can't make this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't make it go. Just, Brian, you better get serious here. Justin may pull this one out. Uh, <laughs> you got a tenth of a meter uh, <laughs> further than you. <laughs> <laughs> this game is a punishment. This game is how they broke the terrorist in Guantanamo Bay. They're like, you can go free if you go 100 yards. <laughs> okay, we've got... Uh, I don't even know how long the timer is. I can't. I'm sure, I'm sure it's got a timer built in. Cause some, oh, wait, wait. Oh, and there goes... Oh, oh 2.21 meters, the sucker! Uh, uh, no, oh, god damn it. Dude, you just can't handle my moves, though. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow! <laughs> Justin with the, the the sonic or with the, the flash. <clears throat> oh! All right, give us give give Justin your technique because you can play this, right, man? I well, I have run a hundred meters, yes. Uh, and... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did I, you see me? I pulled a crazy ass <laughs> flip. It was amazing. I know. It, Boom! Move down. Um, I, what I do is, uh, <laughs> you hit the thigh, you, you want to do right, left, right, left, but like, <laughs> hit the thigh just slightly before you hit the calf, and then alternate, yes! and, oh, ow, again, winner, <laughs> alright, here's, I, 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 no, actually, give us, give us the thing, because now I want to try to actually do something, <laughs> okay, so timing, it is a lot in the timing, and, uh, so, you, like, I think on yours, you would, you oh, would look like, at that, I did a flip, and I'm still in the game, Beautiful! Oh. <laughs> so I think you'd probably want to hit like, you know, I O and then U P. Yes. No. Oh man. Oh man, it's really hard to explain. It's just something you have to like get a feel for. Uh, there's also a, a cheap way that some people will have figured out how to get him to where he he'll like kneel down, just like Brian is doing right now on on top. And then if you just kind of like tap, tinkle the keys, he'll just sort of like you know, vibrate his way to victory. Whoa! Oh, he's getting it. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Somehow just... I don't... I, this is... Who made this game? And it, this is clearly a torture device. I don't need... Ooh, scissor uh, kick. Yes. Ooh. And now... The river... <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh, check I that was... out! Woo! <laughs> what on earth are you doing? <laughs> The stanky really leg. Ooh, the stanky <laughs> leg. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Was that was that Jimmy Cox? Oh, that Jimmy Cox. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Cox gonna make this man run. I can know. Um, oh, look at that, Jimmy. <laughs> now, man, can can you load the game up and 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 send us uh, the display of the game, and then we can actually see you actually play it. And it's and for oh. anyone who wants to play, just Google Q W O P. <laughs> And this torture test will be yours. You I can be... certainly load it up, uh, and I'll see if I can uh, get it. What do you know about a snaggy leg? <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? How are you high stepping? I don't know. Apparently, I have the yeah, power to go step. step. <laughs> 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 
All the guap play a gangster. I love how you guys have managed yeah, to somehow like go that. further backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Woo! I can't. <laughs> yeah. That's three for three. I am clearly the best player in the world at this game. All right. Fine. Oh my God. Sure, Holy crap! You want. Sure. Holy Fine. crap! Take my butt. <laughs> oh my god. Lord of Nikon tells us we should just play the game for 10 hours and that should be the episode. Uh, look, man, we got we to wrap things up here. Uh, we'll hang around for the after show. Make sure to check out Man Stuff. Twitch.tv slash man versus game, right? Yep, that's absolutely correct. And you're on Twitter, right, man? I am. Uh, it's uh, twitter.com slash man vs game. Like the channel. And uh, big, big and, and thanks. I'll tell you what, you're going to be in, in San Fran for GDC. You got to get up to the studio and, and we'll we'll have you on Game On. That Dude, would be absolutely. Are you kidding me? We do Shut Up and Play every Sunday night after Game On, and you would be the best person in the world to play Shut Up and Play with. It would be an honor. I would Dude, love to shut up. Are and you play. kidding me? Uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Look, everyone clearly loves you, and uh, you would be phenomenal. You'd be great. You'd have fantastic energy. They're live. We got to get you up. Um, man versus game. Everyone go there. Also, uh, yeah, everybody, March fourth and March fifth and sixth on Twitch.com slash GameSpot. Man vs. Game. <laughs> Twitch.tv. You ain't never seen a man vs. Right. Game like this before. It's CISO Game. It's his name. Man vs. Game playing Mass Effect. Not just one. Not just two. But Mass Effect 3 when it traps on the midnight of March 5th. Mother ever. You ain't never seen sh- like oh, whoa, 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 Did you just try to win the belt? Oh, you ass. You ass. All right. Mavers Game, uh, twitch.com slash uh, GameSpot. Uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. I love him. Scam School Book, coming out soon. <laughs> Hold on. This is an actual photo of us <laughs> when we took on William Shakespeare. <laughs> That is so awesome. <laughs> this is... I just love how fast people are with, like, just whipping those things out. <laughs> They're freaking amazing. That's when we took out uh, William Shakespeare. <clears throat> man, hype man. <clears throat> Could that be the, uh... What is this hype What man. is this man versus breast cancer? That is probably one of the most uh, infamous moments on the cast. My, my, my good buddy and I. Uh, it gets a little loud there, but that's my intro playing. Uh, this was a... It was for a marathon... Uh, for uh, breast cancer research, and uh, you know, we were trying to raise money for that, and uh, we just went full retard with. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, pink. The following special feature has been rated TGDM. Too goddamn manly. <laughs> Women, children, and men uncertain of their sexuality. Please avert your eyes. Oh my God. Yeah. Now, hopefully, this is the one where the link, the lip sync, is synced up correctly. This is the one that says from H Tile One. Is that you? Oh, you touched my tile. That's my friend uh, Ezekiel. Mm, my ding oh. ding dong. Is that yeah. you? That's me. You, you're married. You're married, right? Uh, we are. We are hetero. Uh, well, no, I, I, I'm with. Uh, yeah, I, I'm essentially married, but. Uh, yeah, I have a girlfriend that we're well because like I got I got a talk Listen, into yeah, it's my it's a Montana marriage yeah it's you Montana. Know, they went out and they skinned a coon it's like common law and, and now common law exactly nature I got a talking to from Bonnie too much too much dancing with other men on the live streams I got in oh. trouble uh, my friend luckily was all about this oh you touched my ta la la. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's that? Well, sorry, uh, Twitch ended up making an emoticon out of my uh, buddy's face. This is him right here. Um, I mean, if that's not a bear right there, I mean, I don't know. What oh, it is. clearly is. Yeah, Are you that's kidding a, me? That's, a, that's man versus bear. That's right. That is, oh. uh, that's man versus blue oyster. Uh, I think, I, think, I think Justin Soundboard has something to say about it. Justin Soundboard? No, it doesn't. 
<laughs> no, it's, it's like a softball. No, that's not what it's. Come on. All right, whatever. What is wrong with your face? No, that wasn't what I was going for. Here's what's happening in my pants. <laughs> awesome. But uh, this was essentially. It so was, so uh, you're going to you're, you're going to San Francisco, are you? Yes. On a little see, holiday. Uh, it's first time. I've never been to San Francisco before. Man, so this would be like your big coming out party. <laughs> It's what, it's what it feels like, and uh, I you know, got an email today of GameSpot letting me know that I could talk about this event, uh, finally, uh, and it's 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 almost too much to take in, like, and then talking about, you know, possibly coming down and uh, just stop by the Oh, game dude, on. no, you, you absolutely oh, no, you're, must. You're, 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 you're a shoe in you're done. We, we do have this, this is actually, it's funny that we even we just got sent this, but uh, something your friend has never said. Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> never. <laughs> That's never right, said. never. It, he's never even thought it. It's never even no. occurred to him. Not a concept. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. This is phenomenal. And you keep the energy up for four whole minutes. Well, it, the thing, it, it was, um, we were sort of trying to one-up, uh, there's another caster, uh, the great GQ. He came out, and he had a, a, a bra. He came out, did fashion. he? Yeah, he came out. It had, had a bra fashion from uh, uh, GameCube discs. And so, and he was dancing to, uh, what is it? Y'all ready for this? Doom, doom, doom. You yeah, know, like sure, the, sure. The, the stadium shakers. And uh, so I was like, we got to one-up this. So we found the Tra-La-La song and just, you know, this was it. Who won the belt today? Me. You ass. I got hyped. I, I got too hyped. You've d- oh, whatever. Man, hype man. You were a, it was a right. pre-calculated belt win. That was not. No, Understood. that was not. I. The problem with Twit Hype Man is this. That's a pinky. No, I you swear. You swear. You, I swear. This is a I night attack swear. pinky swear. I'm giving you the night attack pinky swear. Night attack pinky swear. Because here's the problem is <laughs> what I say. Number one, Twit Hype Man <laughs> yes. is a very hard character yeah. to do. Yes. <laughs> Wait, dude. Uh, go, go, dude. You got to be the bridge. Uh, Man, you got to be the bridge. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the, no, no, go. no. You got to be the rest of my hand. Justin has to oh, put his oh, fist oh, up. Oh, uh, how, can we, how can we do this? Oh, wrong side, wrong side. There, there you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. We'll there get it. We'll get it. Right. There we go. And so and you then, got the pinky. Boop, 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 yep. boop. Up a little bit. Yep, yep, there you go. Yep, yep, yep. There it it's is. Perfect. All right. And then, oh, and then, uh, oh that's yeah. right. That's right. Here we go. Just, Justin, get, get, in there. Line, get line. There you go. Here we go. Yes. There we go. We, that is, we pinky swore. Perfect. That's legit now. <laughs> that's binding. <laughs> that's that you, you are essentially the, the notary public of the pinky swear. Here's, here's the problem is that Twit Hype Man, I can't do everything that I would normally do for Twit Hype Man anywhere on the internet. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it includes the original impression, which, by the way, this is how 90% of all my brainstorming for this show works. I yell random things until Brian can't breathe because he's laughing. <laughs> yes. Like, And so I just keep trying to say things that Brian laughs at. And I have no regard for literally any social more or 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 value at all. So... When we were in Orlando, uh, the Twit Hype Man thing was... Uh, <laughs> Your mustache is on upside down. <laughs> uh, you definitely yeah. have an upside down I'll, I'll just I'll just say that, yeah, it included the N-word because that is how this genre of character, they use the N-word a lot. So in the, in the uh, I can't say that. Time. So in my head, I'm already knocking off. I have like... Like the band, the list of band words on the internet of me doing that impression is already one. I, I can't say that at all. And then I also can't say like six other words when we're live on Twit. So I feel like I did a pretty okay job up until the end. And then one just kind of snuck through. Man, have you played the dark room? That's the important one. The dark room. Oh I can't say that I have. Dude. Yeah. You know what? You're about to play the dark room, my friend. The dark room. Stat him in the chat room. Hey, I was an Arby's cashier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready for the dark room experience, man? I'm ready. All right, you just need to shout out the answer. I'll click on your behalf, but this is your experience. Are you ready? Okay, yes. Yeah. You awake to find yourself in a dark room. <laughs> Quick. Uh, turn on light. Play, play, play. How will you do that? Uh, uh, look for a light switch. <laughs> Wait, go. 
Chris, are you YouTube? You can't look for the light switch. It's dark. You're in a dark room. That's why you need the light switch. Did you want to find the light switch? <laughs> find light switch. All right, done. Wait, go. <laughs> How did you find the light switch? By looking? You can't just find the light switch. You're in a dark room. You need the light switch to see. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> Bullshit, you see. Oh, no. <laughs> You're in a dark room. Find the light switch. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, touch wall. Okay. You caress the wall, it's indifferent to you. <laughs> Touch other wall. Alright, done. Wow. Now the first wall is jealous! <laughs> uh, apologize. <laughs> Sorry, wall. <laughs> it doesn't care, it's a wall! <laughs> Quick! Uh, I'm smelling the room. Find smelling the light! <laughs> Alright. Weep was an option, just FYI. Okay. <laughs> Go. Ah, oh, curse you, Hello. YouTube. The dark room smells of roomy darkness. You may say that doesn't make sense, but why bother? There's nobody else here, here in the dark room. <laughs> uh, kill self. Kill self. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Dun dun. <laughs> With what? The light switch? The light switch you can't even find? <laughs> <laughs> uh, lean on wall and weep. Okay. Success! Your anguish sobbing short circuits the light switch, and 40,000 volts shoots through your weak womanly tears and fries your unspectacular brain. Years from now, your ashes are gathered up and used as a bathroom for diseased cats. <laughs> Would you like to play again? <laughs> just uh just search for the dark room that's that's amazing dude very well well played sir